What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I have a highly requested one for you guys today. We are doing another Hunter Hunter Twitter header tutorial for you guys on Pixlr. But first, before we get too far into the video, if you guys could go down there, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Um, also turn on that bell if you guys also want to as well. I got tons of videos coming up for you guys, lots of tutorials um, specifically in Pixlr. So again, if you guys wanna see that type of content, make sure to click that bell so you guys know when every single video does go live right away. In the header, tutorial today for you guys i'm going to be using kilua kilua kalua however you guys want to say it um apparently i say it wrong in every single video the last tutorial i did with it you guys really really like you guys have been asking me for another one i also want to maybe use some of the other hunter hunter characters um you guys reminded me in the comment section last time that the dude with the glasses name is leorio i always forget him feel like he's always like the odd one out honestly in general and on that note i do have a bunch of other anime graphics tutorials coming out soon I I have one for Attack on Titan, um, and also I believe I have one coming out for Seven Deadly Sins. If there's anything you guys want to see me do specifically, I'm going to be uploading a lot of tutorials coming up in the upcoming like two to three weeks. So go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. Always looking for suggestions on shows to do them on. Um, I'm actually in the middle of Attack on Titan right now. So once I finish that, I'll have to go ahead and pick up another one. But I want to get these tutorials out quick for you guys. So again, just let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I think that's enough for the intro. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and just focus on a little bit of the stuff you guys need to do before we get into the tutorial itself. By the way, again, I will have timestamps throughout this video. So if you guys are familiar already with my channel, you guys are a subscriber here and have watched some of them, um, you guys can just skip ahead to the part where you need to see something like, you know, say you're only here for the text or you're here for, you know, how to save it or export it. You guys can go you know, skip to that part. But for all you guys who are new here, you're going to want to make sure to go to the top link in the description of this video. It's going to be a Google Drive link like normal. Go ahead, just click on that and download all of the assets. Go ahead and just drag them to your desktop. That's what I do. That's what I recommend you guys to do every time, honestly. And as you guys can see, I have the folder here and I'm just going to briefly discuss what's in this so you guys are prepared for when I actually get into the tutorial and talk about how to do it. So we have two fonts here. Um, as you guys can see in the thumbnail, if you guys look at it, but you guys can see I have the font headshots. That's going to be the new font that I have for this one. I spent a while trying to find a new unique one that I felt kind of matched this theme. And I think this one looks pretty cool. Um, so I do have that ready for you guys to download. And then I also have the font for the text down below. That's going to be this one. And then I have two new um, Kilua renders here for you guys. And then I also have the template as well. Um, so again, uh, all likes and support are appreciated on this video. It takes me a while to make these templates and I've been trying to make them um, just better and cooler for you guys so that you can use them more. So again, I really appreciate the support on these videos. Um, it really means a lot to me. And yeah, we have the second one. That one, as you guys can see, is kind of off to the side. And I'll show you guys kind of how to fade that into the background and give it a cool look as well. So yeah, I recommend again, just downloading that to your desktop. Now let's go ahead and just jump into the actual tutorial here. So very first thing, go to your Chrome browser here. And we're just gonna type in Pixlr. Now you guys can just click the link in the description. I will include for you guys, or you can type it in like I did. And we're gonna click open image. And we're not gonna be doing the Demon Slayer one. Um, if you guys do wanna check out that one, that's the last video I did that will be a card up at the end of the video after you watch this one if you guys do want to watch that but uh, we're not gonna be doing that i'm gonna go back to my desktop here and here's the folder that you guys are gonna have here with all of your stuff now we're just gonna click on the template uh, we're gonna double click it and as you guys can see it just automatically fits it in here which is perfect now i do just want to preface this is also just for twitter um i do have plenty of youtube banners YouTube banner tutorials, if I could speak properly. Um, I have plenty of those kind of tutorials already up on my channel if you guys wanna check any of them out. Um, I do have some new ones coming up and I also have some new tutorials coming up that are banner and header, like matching ones included. So make sure again, you guys are subscribed but this one's gonna be specifically for Twitter, as you guys can see here. So you don't need to touch this once it's in here. Um, as you guys can see, it's just automatically locked. If you guys wanna unlock it and mess with it, you can double click it. Um, actually not that, but if you click it once, I guess it just unlocks and then twice it disappears. But anyway, we're just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just right click and lock this right away again. So I just don't, I prefer it locked so I don't mess with it. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and we're just gonna click on that render here. And then as you guys can see, we got it in. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this top right corner here and I'm gonna drag it all the way up. Um, if you guys zoom in a little bit, um, the way I zoom in, by the way, a lot of you guys ask is I hold alt on my keyboard and then I use a scroll wheel and it actually lets me like scroll in. It's really, really nice actually. But um, as you guys can see, the top of this is a little cut off. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it up so it kind of covers that here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of 
move him a little bit to the right here with my keyboard just because I am um, planning on putting my text on this far left side here actually. So I think this is about good right about here. And the very first thing I always do is I always go to the render, I go to adjustment, I go to brightness and contrast, and I up the brightness a little bit, and then I give it a little bit of contrast to bring out the colors. Um, I know a lot of other people will go to adjustment, and even on my own time, I go to adjustment and I mess with it a little more to make it look nicer. Um, you guys can give it HDR. Um, I've, I would suggest you guys kind of mess with this on your own, on your free time, um, but I'm gonna save you the time right now. Um, so now we have our render in here, how we want it. I'm gonna go ahead and get that second one in the right side. So I'm gonna go to layer, we're gonna do the same thing, add images layer, I'm gonna double click that right one here. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make him a bit smaller here, not too much smaller. And I'm gonna kind of have him just kind of go behind there. And now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna click on that render that we just put in, and I'm gonna go to right click it, and I'm gonna go to opacity. I'm just gonna drag that down a bunch here. And you guys can actually mess with the blend mode a bit here too. Um, I believe soft light and hard light can give a really cool look as it kind of blends it in. Um, hard light might be a bit better for you to kind of see it through. I'm thinking that actually looks really, really cool right there. Again, you guys can kind of mess with this how you want. But I think this is looking pretty cool here. So now let's go ahead and focus on the text because I definitely um, have a few things here I want to show you guys to make it um, kind of cool and kind of give it a cool effect. So we're going to go to the font tool here, bottom left, the text tool. I'm going to click add text here. And I'm just going to type in ice as I always do. Obviously, you guys are going to be typing in your name here. Um, and again, I always type it out, but I need to go back. Um, we got to obviously put in our font that we want to use, um, the one that I gave you guys again. And that Google Drive link in the description. I'm going to click add local font. And the first one we're going to use for our main name here, the one I used in the thumbnail, um, is headshots here. And I'm going to click it. And then again, it kind of makes me click it twice. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to double click it again. I'm going to type out ice here. And as you guys can see, it comes out black as always. Don't know why. I'm going to go back to white here and it should be white now. And we're going to keep it behind the render here. And we're just going to go to size and make it a bit bigger. And looks like that is about good. I'm going to rotate it a little bit here. I'm going to kind of have it behind the render here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to make a second copy of this actually. So when I get it, how I want it here, I have it kind of behind the head of the character as well because I think it gives it a cool dimension. Um, is I'm going to um, actually make sure I'm selected on this text layer that I just added. I'm going to go to edit, copy. I'm going to go to edit, paste. And then I'm going to line this one up with the same one underneath. As you guys can see, it can kind of snap in here. And then I'm gonna actually take the one that is underneath here, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to, I believe it is styles. Yes, we're gonna go to outline. I'm gonna go to punch out here, and then I'm gonna have the color for the outline as just like the basic white here. I'm gonna click okay. And we're gonna take the size down a bit to make it a bunch smaller here. And then as you guys can see, we kind of have it how I want it here. and. I can actually go to this. I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna click transform. I don't know if it'll let me free transform this, but I don't want to move this this one above actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna lock that one so I don't end up moving it. But we have this one underneath. So I'm gonna kind of make it look a bit cool here. And um, if you guys look at the one back in the thumbnail, um, you guys can see I kind of cut out like little portions of it. So how to give it that kind of like cool effect is we're gonna go back to uh, Pixlr here and try not to open other softwares. Um, I'm actually gonna go, uh, I'm gonna actually go to, I believe it is layer. We're gonna go to rasterize layer so that layer is no longer a text layer. It's now an image layer. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here and then I can actually just use this polygon lasso by clicking over here. Um, it's gonna be the second one on the lasso. And then I can kind of just cut out certain portions of it. So if I wanna cut out this portion right here and kind of just click it four times and just hit the backspace then go to select, deselect. As you can see, it kind of cuts out a portion of that here. Um, I don't know necessarily if I like how that looks, but um, again, as I always suggest, you guys kind of just do this and make it look how you want it. Yeah, you can do lots of things here. Cut out that, backspace, select, deselect. That looks pretty cool here. So now that we have that, it kind of gives it a cool element to the text too. Um, you can also add like a blue one as well, just make it kind of pop out a little bit more. 
but yeah feel free to mess with that how you want it so for the text below as you guys can see in the thumbnail i have down here um i will have the font that i use the league spartan font in that um folder as you guys know um that i showed you before um i couldn't get it there's i'm having a little bit of a problem actually using it in here so i'm just gonna go ahead and just stick with the font that i used for the main text here i just don't know why but i will fix it and include it in that drive i guess the one that i have in there is just not working right now um so now what we're gonna do is you guys can type in whatever you want here um you know my main platform is youtube so i'm just gonna type in youtube.com slash ice kicks you guys can obviously you know use whichever one you want here um i'm going to get, go ahead and make this wider and a lot smaller so i can actually see it um i guess a lot of you guys might use your twitch or you know whatever you guys are mainly on as far as your platform I'm also gonna go to a layer and I'm just gonna rasterize this so I can, you know, transform it, uh, edit free transform, just transform it how I want it. You know, this font definitely doesn't look quite as good as the other one, but again, I will fix that before the video goes up. And yeah, as you guys can see, we have our thing in here. Now what you guys can do to add, you know, a little bit of effects to the text is just do the same thing I did with the other one and make a new layer and kind of just punch it out and, you know, edit it up to make it look a little bit unique. And it definitely looks cool. As you guys can see, it's kind of like what I did with the original one. I kind of put it behind it and I, you know, adjusted the opacity to make it a little bit lighter. Um, but then all you guys need to do is actually just export it. So we're going to go to file and we're going to click save. Um, you guys, I guess, can go through export as well and go file export. Um, um, but that would be quick export. I would recommend just doing save. And then, you know, I also recommend you guys to do PNG. You guys can do JPG if you want, but I always just do this one because it's easier. And then you can have it on transparent or not. It doesn't matter because um, we don't have anything transparent in here. We're going to click save. And then I usually just go to my desktop and I'll name it whatever I want. Um, I'm going to do header pixeler. And then I'm going to hit save. And then if you guys go to your desktop here, maybe it'll pop up in a second ah and then you guys double click it you guys can see you have your header for your twitter account now i always recommend you guys just do it on the desktop here and just upload it straight from your desktop to twitter and not like do it through your phone because i think you'll lose a little bit of that quality but yeah if i open up the one i did in uh, photoshop here as you guys can see it looks very 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 similar um i think my font is a little bit bigger in this one but it definitely looks just the same if you guys like the video i would appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and also subscribe to the channel i will catch you guys in the next video here peace